hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're an old subscriber if you're new to this channel or you're a new subscriber wazo you're welcome my name is henrietta so today i want to be taught i want to talk about um do's and don'ts before perming or relaxing your hair so let's get into the video so the reason why i am here today is 15th of february um 2021 and today is monday yeah yesterday was valentine's day happy valentine's day happy belated valentine's day to you all you should know that i love you so so much okay so today i was like going through my my list and to pick maybe something to watch and i came across someone who permed her hair and lost almost everything you see and it reminded me so much about what happened to my little sister and so then I just said why not help people out why not um, put this out there maybe somebody is there that person will find my video okay so I want to help okay guys so let's get into the video so guys, we are going to start and I'll be using this sheet. I've written some points down to help me remember what I want to tell you guys. So the first one is before you perm or retouch your hair or relax your hair, you should not wash your hair clean. Like do not wash your hair, okay? Do not wash it before you perm. The second one is um, you shouldn't make your hair wet okay like you shouldn't make your hair wet okay the third one is you should make sure your hair is not clean before you go and perm so i said this point because of my little sister actually she bathed in her hair before going to the salon i don't know why they continue to perm it and didn't realize that um she has bath inside or it is clean they still went ahead and did what they wanted to do so when she came back home we noticed that her skin was peeling so guys you should know that you shouldn't wash your hair you shouldn't wet your hair and your hair shouldn't be clean when you perm it okay i don't know for other already fine um already fine and thin hair but i'm talking about the um the hard the um is it forced yeah i don't really know the types of hair but if you watch my videos you notice those kind of hairs like those ones that the moment water enters it shrinks like um you don't even have hair on at all but yeah so that's the kind of hair i'm talking about so moving on to the second point yeah i made it second because this one was actually about you wetting your hair before perming okay which shouldn't be so otherwise your hair will be sore okay and your skin of the scalp will be peeling off so i guess you're moving to the second one I don't know if uh, me putting on the um, earpiece has made everything good until I'm editing if I realize but I'm also using the earpiece not only because of the sound but I don't want my fan to come in like I don't want the sound of the fan to come in the video I hope me using this earpiece is helping otherwise is totally no good so moving on so moving on to my second point before you perm do not okay or make sure you get a quality or proper product okay guys do not look for cheap products okay under this point i've also written one sub point is that 
when you are a first timer as in when you are having a natural hair and you are coming to perm for the first time you should consider using um, a popular product okay a popular product in a sense that maybe you should ask um, a lot of people what product they use to perm or retouch or relax their hair so that you could use the same thing okay don't go for new products okay you might not know how it will work for you and you don't want your three years your two years or your one year of um, um, natural hair growth to go waste or to fall to the ground you don't want that to happen to you okay so we are moving on to the third group so the third group is that before you perm your hair you should ask yourself these questions okay the first question is that do i really want to perm like do i really really want to perm is it necessary like do i really want to perm or maybe let me just leave this one out there okay <laughs> so the first one is that yeah that was the first one sorry that is um do i really want to perm the second one is have i dyed my hair before okay i've been watching a lot of youtube um videos and i noticed that most of the people who have damaged hair have actually dyed their hair before or those who enter the saloon i noticed that um the hairdressers or the yeah the hairdressers ask them if they have perm if they have dyed before so i think that is so necessary to consider okay so the third one is that how long did you dye your hair like when was the last time you dyed your hair and when was the last time you transitioned back to your natural hair color like you know what i mean okay so guys you have to consider this before you perm your hair okay so we are moving on to the fourth group and so let's get into it so this part is um before you perm your hair or relax your hair or retouch your hair you should make sure you are at the right saloon okay i don't know but everyone has his or her own ways of doing things and if you compare two or three different saloons you might notice that maybe all these places are big or there is its quality and things but you notice that maybe this person um does corn roll well than this person and that person and also maybe this person fixes um weave-on or caps re really well than braiding rasta and a whole lot of hairstyles okay we have someone who is also really good at um uh how should i say braiding than fixing okay so you should just notice this kind of hairdressers okay before you go to that saloon okay because you don't want the the person to damage your hair because she's not good at this and you didn't have any idea but my sister or my brother you would have like i don't even know what to say you would have have had yeah you would have had a story to tell so moving on the second one under this point is that if you are a first timer okay um do not perm on your own yeah i know a lot of people we have skills okay we can perm our hair ourselves in our home it's nice it's lovely it's creativity and it's independent okay but guys like for a first timer okay just take this um just leave this 90 percent risk you are taking and just leave it behind and that 10% hope 
send it to the saloon. I don't know if I'm getting the percentage right, but I'm saying that if you doing or if you perming your hair or relaxing your hair at home yourself, and if that risk you are taking is 90% or it's even 70%, you should know you are in trouble and that you are going to be in trouble and that you are going to have a story to tell okay guys i don't know if i'm shouting but i feel i'm shouting because my fan is blowing strongly and um i'm using my earpiece and i can't hear my i can't hear myself so guys pardon me okay i if i'm editing i will see if i'm really shouting or it's it's good maybe yeah so guys so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it has helped you okay and i hope that before you have before you watch this video you have not yet penned okay like i just hope and if you have already penned you can share my video to someone who is about to pen okay help a sister help a brother so thank you all so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe like comment and share okay i thank god that i have you and have a great day bye